Hey, it's Roger. I'm on location at Century Communities Beckett Cove. Looks like a real estate dog up on the front porch. You know what to call, right? 704? I know, I know, I know. Hey guys, let's take a look at this daffodil. This is a, very much like the model home. My first impression when I came up was the colors. I mean, look how beautiful and rich that garage door is and the colors of the exterior. Beautiful landscaping up in front. This is a great opportunity for you, uh, priced in the 360 to 370 realm. This is a great value in my opinion. And by the way, you do have a great looking little porch too. I mean, you could put a cafe table out there, a couple of chairs, and uh, or a couple of rockers. And one thing I really like in design is when the foyer is two story. So for instance, you got light coming in from up above, even a little bit of a light uh, window there on the landing. And we will go upstairs and check out the three bedrooms up there. And as you know, I'm always looking for space like this, where you can put a table or some kind of accent piece. You know that if you're one of my subscribers, right? If you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe here a box to the lower right. Slap my face at the end to subscribe, and I do hope you will stay till the end. Well, again, guys, this uh, daffodil plan has options, and one of the options that was exercised on this one is to make this a bedroom with a full bath right on uh, the, the main level. So what you've got here is an opportunity for a number of different things. Number one, if you're both working remotely, Hey, can I first comment about this floor? That brown is a really pretty, kind of a honey type brown. So, you know, one of you could be working right out of that front bedroom. And uh, sometimes people are using Murphy beds too. What does that mean? It means, hey, you put a bed up on the wall that folds down into a bed. It also acts as a desk as well. Now that's some unusual stone. So you just pull that bread down uh, if you've got overnight guests, right? And so they have an opportunity to spend the night, but you're still using that room, maybe for an office, and to be able to have the separation for Zoom meetings if you're both working from home, uh, that's the deal. You know, for the price point here, this is an amazing value. It really is. Look how pretty that is. And I, as you know, I do love seeing a window uh, coming in over the kitchen uh, counter. So you've got plenty of space. These are 42 inch cabinets. You know, there's a lot about this that I want to say feels like a first time home buyer, but that's really only the price that makes it feel like that. It's a, it's a real value, guys. And these browns are coming back as well. And to show you my signature shot from the kitchen sink out, here we go. It's really open, really open. Nine foot ceilings makes it feel grand. Yeah, this is great. So guys, Beckett Cove, where is it? It's very near the Palisades. In fact, you're really close to the state line. That's that granite. Jack, what do you see out there? Anything good? Should we look at it? Jack, I think he wants to run the backyard real quick. You want to run the backyard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got some pretty trees on the perimeter and uh, got a nice, almost perfectly flat backyard. It's great. Plenty of room here on this patio to do a pergola or a screen porch or whatever it is that you might want to do with that. This is like a perfect home for somebody with several kids upstairs, guest suite down, or maybe that's an office uh, for you down. Now, again, I'm always looking for that space, right? So look at that, easily put a desk there. And you've got a window. So maybe that's your second work from home remote space, good size pantry, and then going into the garage. But what's neat about this is, you know, if you're cooking and you, you know, you're waiting for something to simmer, you got plenty of space right there. If you don't need it to be closed for an office space, amazing right there. Century Communities, they've been in the marketplace for just a few years now, but they're making a, a good size splash. I'm gonna make note of this again. Just do understand this is part of the dynamic. I, I believe I have a, a video of the actual daffodil model. Jack, come up and earn your money. Work your show, sell your business. There you go. That's what he does, right? <laughs> And so, uh, hmm, you know, this carpet's a really pretty color. So you come up and you've got a loft. So now that means the kids don't have to put the toys away. In fact, you've got space even over along that wall if you wanted to put some uh, built-ins or some kind of shelves so that you could kind of contain toys or whatever it is you're doing and then easily use this other wall, you know, for a TV or whatever, second TV room like this. They did the balusters here instead of the drywall wall and again, 
just to accentuate that, it's cool. Now you got a little wing here. I know I usually go to the left, but you've got a bedroom here to the right. And you feel like you're kind of tucked away, which is nice. You've got a full bath with two sink spaces right there. Beautiful. And then you've got the front bedroom. So again, if you, depending on how many bedrooms you need for sleeping, this could be another opportunity or that back bedroom for working remotely. I think we're all thinking that way now. And many of us are even thinking, hey, what's a good room for homeschooling? <laughs> well, we don't know what's going to happen, right? All right, guys. So th those are two bedrooms up. So those are the first three bedrooms. We're going to see the master. I encourage you to give me a call at 704-345-3400. Now, see, I always say I like a, 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 a a window in the laundry room but you've also got some extra space right there for a folding table yes you do so Jack and I would love to meet you I do have broker partners uh, that are going to probably be the ones to show you houses when you come in town and get you around to see everything but Jack and I would certainly love to meet with you for a coffee or a glass of wine and say hello maybe you get one of Jack's real estate dog uh, merchandise mugs you still have any of those mugs left in, uh, in, in stock, or do you know? That's not your department, I know. And uh, we'd love to meet you. So guys, again, I work with a team. I spend a lot of my time, I'm shooting five to 10 videos a week so that you can be informed on stuff. And I think that's important. I think you do too. That's why you're, you're with me, right? That's why you're a subscriber. This is nice. Good size closet as well. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Goes all the way around. Place for shoes and all that stuff. And uh, we would love to see you, love to meet you, love to help you. My partners are great. Heard a testimony from one of uh, Rodney Jones' clients that I uh, was a subscriber of mine that he got him to the finish line last week. And they were just raving about what a great job he did. And I know that because uh, it's in my best interest to pick only really good people to surround myself with. So subscribe, like, and all that. And Jack, do you have anything else you want to say? We'll see you in the next video.